Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have something interesting. This is the review of the 1 to 35 scale, the Metal Slug tank that we see in the game Metal Slug. Um, now, as a kid, I used to play Metal Slug X a lot, and once again, uh, the moment I've recently noticed that they made a Molo kit out of this, so I decided to go, uh, go and get it. So, uh, here we go. Now, I finished building this last night, and once again, the quality of the kit is okay, but there are some, how should I say, iffy parts regarding, how should I, uh, regarding the kit itself. Uh, I should mention that this is from, uh, the company name is the Billion Spark Craftsmanship. So here's the manual, and then here is the logo, and if you see, like, up there, there's like in, in English, it's called Billion Spark Craftsmanship, and there's the, the Chinese can, uh, the Chinese language which I cannot read. So yeah, um, I guess this is the actual name: one to thirty-five scale regular army super vehicle zero zero one, and yeah, yeah. So okay, now let's get on to the review. Now this is actually my first tank model. Then again, I'm not even sure if this is this can be considered a tank model kit, but. Here we go. Um, so as usual, let's talk talk about its components. So first, what you get, of course, is the tank itself. So I'm going to put that back right, right over here. And once again, this kit actually does come with some leftover pieces. Um, now, for the tr uh, the tracks last shreds, you do get uh, some number of them, but you get like two of these sh uh, spare ones. Like um, you get 44 of them, and you only use 42 of them. So that's that. However, there's another piece that connects them piece by piece, but that, that they only give you exactly 42, so that means 21 on each side. So that's kind of an interesting aspect. So we're going to put that away. And then here we have some leftover screws and bolts. They give you um, seven set of each, but you're only going to use six. And here are some parts that are actually cut off because this thing actually does have some double uh, plates. So here, this is like the back section of the tank, and then this is like uh, the back vent sort of section of the tank, which I will show you guys later. And here's one. This is I didn't cut off this one. This one was already cut. I mean, it it fall off from the plate, and this is like the clear version of where you cover this piece like like this in this fashion, like that. Okay, so we've seen the ones that I've cut. Now let's look at the stuff that isn't cut yet. Okay, here's the entire plate. Uh, I, I did say leftover pieces, but mostly the leftover pieces are just, how should I say, um, the clear parts of the outer section. So I, I think I did show you guys in, in my video, like we have, this piece is rather a, this is technically a leftover piece because this is actually uh, a connector between action bases. So if you like bought two or three of these, you can use these to connect the action base that comes with it. So we have all the armor pieces. We even have this, which I forgot to show actually. I'm going to pull this out right now. This is actually like a smoke effect. I had to sneeze. Um, other than that, we have all the outer armor in clear, uh, clear parts. So once again, if you're in, if you're uh, into really like clear kits, I'm pretty sure you would go for this. And I did mention that uh, the, this is another plate of full of clear parts, so nothing too new. Uh, I did mention that there are two versions of this tank. The, there's uh, well, two versions slash two colors. The one I got was the blue color, but you, the other gray slash silver color is also available. I say silver, it's but I'm not talking about in the chrome's color silver. It's the you know the the typical gray color. Okay, so there's the tank, and then. We have the water slide decal sheet, which once again I haven't used yet because once again I'm not a big fan of these these stuff. Now I heard some someone tell me that these aren't really that great, or I don't know. I'm not sure if he was talking in that sense, but uh, which is uh, the only thing that I do admire is that they actually give you this part like this. So yeah, that's actually pretty good to protect the water slide decals from getting you know wet or fingerprints. So we have these sections, the heavy machine gun, rocket launcher, shotgun, flamethrower, and laser for some reason. And we have all these other stuff going on, so which is very nice. So uh, now let's talk about what you're supposed to get. Now once again, as mentioned, you have this, this piece, which is more like an effect part that you can, I believe, plug in here. And it, it's supposed to like look like it's like firing, but once again, I'm... 
there are some iffy parts which in the manual I, I did not really understand properly but yeah it's this is like in a nutshell that's how it's supposed to work um, here we have these canister looking stuff and those who play Metal Slug a lot should know what these are these are the weapon items now they come in full white and but in the promo pics they were all colored like this even the canister was supposed to be in gray and brown colors but once again this is just a two-piece snapping together kind of thing so yeah you're, you're gonna need to color the gas tank you have two two versions and you only get one each you get a normal one and then you get the, the ones that look like have handles on top of it now on the back of the manual this is how they're supposed to look like like this so you have to choose between like two and it seems like in the example the shotgun was used as well so another thing that you might notice is that you're gonna need to color these and mostly you're gonna need to color the inside at least the good thing is that the inside part is a separate piece like this but same goes for both of them so you're gonna need to color them in the right color and then apply the water slide so do not apply the water slide first and I'm not sure how that's gonna work but yeah but I do like these small details like stuff like you know these kind of stuff they give all right, so that's that. Uh, here we have some, how should I say, the tank rounds. Now, this is the one that when you press the bomb button, it will fire a normal, you know, tank round that will fall directly in front of you and <laughs> cause an explosion. Now, you get two sets of these. You, you get two, another set right over here. So I just want to show you guys one example. Uh, as I mentioned, the interesting part is that if you open these section, this section up, there's another small round inside there. So that's another interesting detail going on. And then we have this part where this is the AP round, armor piercing round. Now, I don't remember in other versions, but when I was playing X, there was an item that says AP. And then if you take it while riding the tank instead of, and you use the bomb button, instead of like the bomb flying down, it will fly directly like that. And this... As actually very helpful when you're actually fighting um, the the boat tank boss. I think that was like what level six or seven, but yeah, very helpful. And this one does not have that extra round inside, so just keep it, just letting you guys know. Okay, uh, and okay, you, you do get a, a leftover piece, well, or sort of a like extra piece. So if you want to have another weapon going on, if, if you want to swap out, you can always use this again. So you get three of these plates, uh, the flat ones, and then we get an action base, which once again they give you even the in <laughs> sign logos. <laughs> but problem is, I have no idea how to use this action base. The Instruction manual only shows you how to build the action base, but does not tell you to how to <laughs> lay the tank onto this piece. And here's all those nuts and bolts that you use. So that's it. That's one thing I won't be able to show you guys with this. So <laughs> I've checked the manual and I have no clue how to use this thing. And then we have this piece, which is not exactly a leftover piece. It's just a piece I'm personally having a prob uh, problem with. It's not staying in. On a certain place which I will point out and then this is a extension part now I, I did see some individual sellers selling something called like a weapon expansion pack for this and the walking tank version of this they and this is I assume is the part that allows you to connect those extra weapons and interestingly enough those weapons kind of look like normal assault rifles meant for humans but uh, for some reason, they're like extension weapon f weapons for the tank and the robot. So, um, that's how it is. And the way how you connect is that, um, I believe, you have to disconnect these Megalin guns. And then there's two holes on each side. And you have to connect these two holes or the other way around into there right away. So, yeah, I won't be able to show you guys this unless you have that. And I'm not sure how rare that thing is. Okay, now let's get on to the review. Now, once again, this being a tank, there's not much to show. I mean, it's not like it has arms and legs, and there's not articulate much articulation to show you guys. Uh, okay, so I guess I should start with the top. Now, uh, at least this. Um, now, once again, I have, I have to mention that the kit quality is okay. I'll, I'll just say that it's pretty okay. However. They might need to do a little bit more better on their quality control because there are some parts that, how should I say, they don't feel like they fit properly. I guess this is what they call fitting issues. 
Uh, and then also, this might be a personal thing, but when you're building this kit, you don't really feel any stiffness. Like when you're snapping two pieces together, you expect it to be like really stiff, or uh, you know, it's like a secure or confirmed like connection. But some of those pieces don't actually have that feeling. So yeah. So um, okay, let's start with the top. Actually, okay. Now, as being a tank, this is obviously obviously the barrel, and according to the manual, these two sections on the side are also like grenade launchers or sort of things, uh, which I never knew. I was never aware of that. And then we have this search headlight, which actually does have a clear piece, and then this silver part is actually, it does come that way, because you have a whole chrome silver plate, and then there's a clear piece inside, so I guess if you want to like modify this to have LEDs in it, it, that should be fine, but however, the silver piece, I have no idea how to connect this properly. I think I got it correct, but um, you can see there's like a small gap between that. So there's no like actual confirmed like connection there. It's just like I jammed it in there. Um, however, also another, another issue is that this thing like keeps to like pop, like pop going up like that. So that's another odd aspect, but you can open this section up and reveals the pilot seat. There is actually a seat there. There's no pilot because, you know, there's like multiple characters in Metal Slug, so I'm not sure. Uh, so I guess they didn't really go for that aspect, but I do like the detail. You, there's the uh, seat inside, and then even on the bottom of the hatch, you can see that small, you know, wheel that you, that is used for locking it up. So that's a very good detail, actually. And then, oh, what's with the antennas? Oh, boy. And yes, as, as you can see, I'm almost close to breaking one of the antennas. Uh, so, um, those who play Metal Slug should know that this thing cannot turn its head. So, I mean, there are multiple tanks that cannot turn their upper heads or neck around. So, I guess that's nothing too bad. Um, now, as obvious, we have these Gatling guns. Now, in Metal Slug, we usually see them on the side. So, you, we always thought there was like only one of these, but there's actually two. It has good amount of movement, however, it does not, it, it cannot go like 360 like we do in the games because it's limited articulation. Now, this thing is on is connected as a peg, but on the inside, there's actually a ball joint, so that's why we're able to move a little bit freely like that. And the Gatling gun, the way how you make it is that you have, these uh, are all individual single like pipe, li uh, pipe lines, so that's how you connect, it's not like a single piece. And once again, that's a nice chrome gold piece, and which, once again, was kind of tricky for me to connect because it's the length of that piece on the inside, the peg inside, it's very, very, like, precise. So you have to, like, push it in a lot. So I guess the best movement is, like, uh, about more, about 200 degrees. So now 360, not really possible, but yeah. Uh, now... We do know that in the game the tank can jump, and you can sort of do that, but it doesn't really bend as much as you think. So you can see that there is like a small bend like that. So it does show that it's it's capable of its, of its jumping effect. And once again, all these pistons are all in uh, in silver, uh, chrome silver, and these tracks do actually move if you want to do so. However, the wheels don't move that well, so kind of stiff in that aspect. However. Um, once again, each of them is length about 21 centimeters, so that's that's that. So I, I, I want to make them move, but they, they don't move that much. Uh, okay, what else to show? Um, oh yeah, this uh, one of the leftover pieces is this part, if you just remember that. And let's look at the bottom section. In the bottom section, you can see all these mechanics going on, all these pistons, all these metal colors. They're not. It's not that really difficult of a build. It's just that uh, you might have some fitting issues, like when you're snapping two pieces together and then they don't feel connected. You can sort of see I have like these small gaps, which should be like closed up, but isn't closing up that well. So that's that. Uh, once again, if you have these parts, it's, you're supposed to like jam this thing inside, which I don't want to force in, but there is like a small opening there, so you need to like uh, work your way through, I guess. And that's pretty much it for the review. I mean, this thing is just a small tank. Oh, um, for those who want to know the size of this thing, this is a very small kit. It's not as big as you think. So for my Gunpla, uh, Gunpla viewers, this is how like how... Uh, the size comparison is in terms of height, uh, and then when we look at the side, this is how it is. And so, yeah, it's in terms of length, it's like almost like 
half of the height of a normal typical HG kit. So for length, for those who actually want to know, is that it's around about like nine centimeters in length, and then about like ex ex excluding the headlight, it's once again nine centimeters on top of of height, and then about six point five or six centimeters in like width. So once again, this is a very it's not a big like kit and about this piece this is supposed to like go there's a hole here that's supposed to go in here but it keeps like popping out so i cannot do anything about that and that's pretty much it once again before getting this kit i would like to uh let you know that um the kit is okay however the quality is not it, it there are some parts that's kind of iffy so you're gonna need to work your way around there are some fitting issues which i will admit I, I'm, I kind of like jammed in like stuff here and there uh, so it, so just keep that in mind you might break something but yeah it, as long as you're careful you, you it should be fine anyway thank you for watching the review this was the review of the metal slug tank that we see in metal slug if you guys got any questions or requests leave a comment below I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews out so please stay tuned until then see you guys next time